What's going on guys, it's Marshall and I, and today we're going to do, start our quiz game. Now we're going to go to the user interface today, which we showed in a previous video how to do. So we're going to go kind of quickly through, to get all set up for the next part, where we'll go into the code and make the quiz app. So let's get started. Start our new Xcode project. Single view application. Make sure it's set under iOS. Hit next. Name it Simple Quiz Game. Make sure it's set to Swift, iPhone only. There we go. And I'm changing to my desktop, so we'll do that. <clears throat> uh, let's see. Yeah, we'll just keep that same. I think everything else should be the same, so we're good to go. Go to your main uh, storyboard. I'm making this full screen for everybody. I'm gonna set iPhone 6. Just do it on a bigger device. And there's iPhone 6. So right now we're basic, so we're gonna put a label. Let's see. Welcome to our first game. It's pretty basic so far, but <clears throat> I'll get into a little bit more detail in a little bit. The idea of the game is to make the thing pretty simple. Drag some little screen. Press center. We'll do room font size 11. Or changes to. Like 3. You see it cuts off one right now, so then we'll make it a lot bigger. Order up. Go to a quiz game and font size lines. Set that a little bit. There we go. We're going to center this in our thing, so we can go here. Well, let's do it. Just make sure it's in the same spot every time we load the game. We're going to keep the same height. Should look fine to us. Should look good. So now we're gonna put a button on here. So we're gonna type button. Click. Mm -hmm. Click. Cool. So our button's down there right now, so we're pretty much set now. And we're going to put some character wrap. Yeah, we're going to put some constraints on this guy. If we ran right now, we look fine. So we're just going to put a new control in here. Here, view, control. I can put two down, so we'll see a couple errors appear. You'll see why. Click on it says view controller unreachable, which is true. So we're gonna use this button right here. Control click drag over here. We're gonna set show. And after that, we're gonna do the same thing on the next one. So we're gonna go. Well, we can't connect it yet, so we're gonna put a button on here. Button. Say random subjects. And then we're going to put label up here. Pick. 
pick your subject. Line up like that, center it. 33. See, it cuts off a little bit. So we're going to insert the minimum font size to 11 again. Word wrap. And it needs Oop. Pick your subject. Cool. And we're just going to. Put some strings in the sky. And I should be saying that it's unreachable again since the other guy's not popped up yet. So to fix this problem, we're going to go RAM subjects, control click, hit show. Which will take us to here. Now in here, we're going to put a label up top. Doesn't matter what the text says, so I'm just gonna say it like this. Thirty-three again, so we'd be consistent. Uh, label center lines couple. Her question might be a couple lines long. And set to align centers, maybe. Word wrap, room font size 11. That's it. Uh, so we're going to some constraints on this real quick. Make sure height set to that. Boom. Now we need buttons, so I'm going to put a button. Button should be around there. I'm going to stretch it to the edge since the questions are going to be kind of big. These are going to be our answer choices. Sorry, 21 for the buttons. Line break, make sure it's set to word wrap again. Everything should be good. Control click, not control click. See that there. Option click. <laughs> oh no, I got. Go to option drag. So you're gonna hold the option in, drag the button down, set it down on the release option, do that again. Now we're going to make these like perfect so I'm going to apply color to these so I'm just going to go Do this so we can see if they're overlapping or not, so it's kind of simple what kind of do. Simple logic. So, this guy here, scoot him down, scoot him down. Let's get a little more space between them. More space between them. No space between them, there we go. We're going to change the background color eventually with them to do our constraints. Let's go down here. Same way we did the thing we did before. Boom, 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 boom. Height. We'll just keep doing that same thing over again. And here. I'm going to look slow right now so you can see what I'm doing. 
Even though you know how to do it by now, I'm just gonna do that a little stuff for you. That's our basic inter interface for our, for our thing, so if we run it, I'll run real quick. You see it's running, it's running, it's running, it's still running. I hate how this iOS device takes forever to run. I'm just fast and I'm slow, and there you go. I think it's working. Are you working? Are you gonna work for me? Oh, there you are, okay. Click me. We go to pick your RAM subject, get RAM subjects, and it takes us to the screen. So our app works. Now when we click these buttons, nothing really happens yet. So what we'll do in the next video. This has been March 29, and I am out. Peace.